Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It's Wednesday the 5th of April and I'm Nigel Croft. In this video we'll be looking at the gold and the copper price and what we'll see is that both are up into resistance but perhaps we may see a break in gold. I'll give you the key levels to be watching there but that silver, um, sorry copper <laughs> is um, still in a triangulation uh, range trading pattern and at the moment is giving no signs of a break either up or down but please stay viewed and please take the levels for gold they're very interesting So here we have the daily on the gold and as I was saying we're very close to a pa perhaps having a breakout. You can see this downtrend in red line that's the 200 day moving average. Now look how significant that has been historically. It gave the support that we had in October. It then gave the resistance that we had in February. A bit of resistance again last week, a bit yesterday, and we're slightly trading below it today. If that was to break and we'd get a, a significant break to the upside, it would be so positive. Uh, technical analysts would see that as, a, as a, a, buy, a buy signal. And the present level for that 200 day is at 12.57 spot 88, a key level to be watching for today. On the RSI, you can see that it's well above 50, 60.35, and is in an uptrend, um, which is good. Perhaps because of the consolidation we've had over the last week, it, it's just it's just rolling. But don't don't be worried by that. If the market were to break above the 200-day, that would soon pick up, and it would be showing very positive momentum. MACD likewise did show positive momentum, now slightly neutral. But as I said, uh, if we were to break above the 200 day, all that would change. On the longer term picture, here we've got the weekly. And here you can see that it's actually the blue line that's causing the resistance. That's the 50 week moving average. Obviously very close um, to being a 200 day anyway. Um, that's at 1259.38. Uh, that's the level to watch on the weekly um, and obviously we've had uh, four solid strong weeks so uh, it would be very good if we could get above there here the rsi is positive and the macd is positive on the shorter term picture so here we're, we're looking at the four hour uh, each bar represents four hours you can see we've had a drift since we hit that 200 day moving average uh, we've drifted lower but no fear because um, quite soon we're going to get the 24 hour crossing the 54 hour in a, in a golden cross uh, with the, when the shorter term moving average crosses the longer term moving average people will be looking at in a positive aspect and hoping that will give the push up um, the rsi is just rolled because of what's happened in the last few hours and the macd is as well but if we can get a push up from these moving averages the picture will change um, looking at the support resistance levels, as I said, the 200 days key, 1257 spot 88 and then 1263.87 the next resistance with the supports 1239.88 and then at 1233 spot 2.6. Now moving on to the copper price and this is the daily chart and what I've done is I've drawn a couple of trend lines and the, the, coming through the highs here and up through the lows from December and then in March and you can see a triangulation pattern and we seem to be range bound. Is there any sign that we're going to break? Well, the RSI is just going sideways and is neutral, 49.72. And likewise, the MACD both moving sideways around the zero. So nothing of to indicate which way we're going to break as yet. On the 
immediate upside there's the downtrend in 50 day moving average at 2.662 that will give resistance um, supports would come in on the on the lower channel of this uh, trend which would be 256.64 looking at the longer term picture and you can see that it could be a flag um, we had the good run up, we've now gone sideways. This could be a flag, which would be good, but we need to break to the upside. We're presently trading, getting support from the uptrend in 20 week moving average. And we've traded uh, you know, along that for the last four weeks. It is moving up, so that's positive, but we're not showing, we're not getting any trampoline effect off there, which I'd be looking for. RSI is now starting to indicate slight negative momentum. Um, but it is still above 50 at 55 spot 5 and the MACD starting to roll on the shorter term picture so here we're looking at the 4 hour you can see that the, the, there's this resistance level and again a moving average was key this is the 200 4 hour moving average we're nearly back up to it um, that's at 264.88. Be aware of that. Uh, we're back above the 50 day, which is good, but the 20 day is still tracking down. Perhaps we'll wait for the 20 day to roll. That would then roll, come back above the 50. That could give the push up through the 200 uh, for our moving average. Let's wait and see. RSI is quite okay on the short term, as is the MACD. Looking at the daily support resistance levels. Uh, resistance at the 50 day 2.6619, 2.7052, and then the supports at um, the bottom of that trend 2.5836, 2.5548. So, this has been TA for Traders on Wednesday, the 5th of April, looking at the gold and copper price. I hope you found it of interest. Please subscribe if you've, if you've watched this much. And I'll be back shortly with some more videos. Thank you.